Next one to quickly touch upon this comment or this story that I saw somebody post on the Berkheim subreddit recently that really made me um, think about how I've basically dealt with things. So essentially to paraphrase, this person was complaining that when they're on the dance floor, um, people who are maybe getting up to some, you know, XXX hanky panky, take up all the room or they make it uncomfortable for people who just want to dance and listen to the music to have some fun in front of the DJ booth, right? It turns into a little bit of a of, of a weird standing up orgy session, right? In no uncertain terms. And I've had the similar experience, not with the orgies, more so with people just standing in front of the booth and stunting or hanging out with their friends or secretly recording videos or having bumps and stuff or taking drugs. It can be a little bit unsettling, a little bit annoying. But what I've realized over the years is that the more I started to go out, the more I started to realize how quickly things change. And the community of people that I used to go out quite often with, even the people that I used to promote club nights with, I used to do that quite often, um, all year round. And there'll be a certain group of people who, you know, you may invite to come and do your club night. They might invite you to do theirs, which they didn't actually, which is always kind of funny, but hey, it is what it is. But you just always saw each other out and about. I rarely if ever see the same people out and about now when I go out. Now, don't get me wrong. My taste in music has somewhat matured and maybe evolved. I'm not listening to the same things I was listening to when I was promoting those club nights. But just in terms of going out and being around, I don't see those guys and girls anymore. And I think a lot of it has to do with them just moving on to different things. They don't necessarily care about going to the club as much as I do. So if that's the case, there's going to be new generation of kids coming up or just new people overall who are going to be taking those people's spaces because one thing about clubs even though the generations keep changing every four years and the scenes right that's the kind of um, thing that a lot of owners say a lot of people that commentate on cultural events and nightlife and scene reports and whatnot they always say usually it's like a four-year cycle in terms of one crew or one click or one kind of movement or one kind of thing that's happening in that four-year block and then another four years there's another scene kind of populating and spreading through so i keep knocking the mic all that thing's kind of happen a lot and i feel like now however many years has passed clearly there's a whole different conglomerate of people out there that are enjoying themselves and for the most part when i'm in a space and i feel like i'm getting annoyed by the people around me the first thing i do is a little bit of self-reflection and kind of ground myself and say hey they're not doing anything annoying they're at a party they're 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 intoxicated they're high they're doing whatever they're doing but they're not doing anything wrong if you're feeling agitated or you're feeling upset Take your way, take yourself away from the situation. And that's the beauty of clubs. You can always find a little pocket somewhere where you can dance and have a good time. And for someone like myself, who's not necessarily that bothered about standing in front of DJs and just watching them mix and seeing how they do things, I don't necessarily care. We have live streams where you can literally zoom in and see exactly what they do on the decks if you want to get any tips. But when I'm in a club, I want to dance. I want to legitimately sweat my face off. I want to come back, have my t-shirt drenched. I want to be tired i want to have my arms be soft more the flipping fist bumping i'm doing that's what i want so i don't necessarily need to be in the front i don't need to be in any area where there's uh you know an abundance of cool people just put me in a corner where i can nod my head and hear the music loud then i'm more well and good and that served me really well and i feel like i've got a little bit of good training with that when i was going to the parties like inferno when i'm going to these parties like budokai when i'm going to you know uh, body hammer all these type of places that are more so queer and lgbtq kind of based and centered and me coming in as a straight guy i kind of feel like i'm taking up space or you don't want to put people off or you don't want to you know be a vibe killer because you're giving off too much cis straight you know guy energy so i usually just find my space or my place to kind of dance and i kind of keep to myself it's been difficult in the beginning especially in the start you go to these flipping inferno raves and stuff and you see these people walking by in these amazing outfits boys girls whatever you want to touch you want to talk you want to admire you want to exalt you want to praise but actually as well intentioned well intentions as you may be it just comes across a bit annoying it comes across a little bit needy it comes across a little bit intrusive you just kind of got to keep your distance and i've learned to kind of navigate those sort of spaces and make myself comfortable without making other people uncomfortable and i feel like that has maybe led to me understanding that when i go to a place like Berghain and i see all the cool kids in the front all the gen z is doing their thing with their little pearl necklaces and their painted nails and their cool piercings and their vest shirts tucked into their trousers and all that stuff i don't get annoyed by it i actually smile and think yeah great 
Those are the next gen who are carrying a torch and are going to do great things. The same people who are there dancing are probably like me when I first went to the Berkheim, where I was like, oh, one day I'm going to be behind that booth. And that's what they're probably thinking. They're thinking one day I'm going to be behind a booth. One day I might own a club like this. One day I might have my own DJ agency, whatever it is. They're all kind of germinating those ideas and kind of bouncing off each other and all that energy. And the first and the last thing I want to do is come in here like the old furry, be like, oh, back in my day. Yeah. No, no. I just pull myself away from the situation, find a little pocket that I can dance and have a good time in, and it's all well and good. It's all kind of been removed. Because I hear a lot of people talking about, you know, Gen Z and kind of making them out to be the most annoying people ever in the world. Trust me, they're not. I know what we used to get up to when I used to be out in clubs, right? We used to do just as bad as they used to do. Like, I've got my education about knowing not to do certain things on the dance floor or how to maneuver myself, but that comes with experience, that comes with knowledge, that comes with going out a lot of times, sets of reps, being out there. And sometimes people care more than others, you know? Maybe I have more sensitivity to these things because I'm more foreign to it, but maybe this new generation don't because that is what they, that's their day-to-day -day life. They know how to, you know, they know about pronouns, they know how to interact with spaces that aren't necessarily designed for them and not be overbearing. It's just something that's ingrained in them because that's what they've lived, that's what they've been brought up in. Maybe I haven't because I'm having to kind of educate myself in real time, but I think in general, if you're ever in a space and you feel annoyed and you feel like people around you are doing this and they're doing that, look at her, look at him, blah, 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 it's never them. It's always you. Take yourself away from the situation. Go to the toilet. Have a little, have a little drink. Maybe drop a pill. Whatever it may be. Come back out. Find a corner for you to go and dance in, and then just stay there, and you'll be fine. And everything will be forgotten about. It'll all be a distant dream. I guarantee you, it'll be a distant dream. That's my impression, anyway. That's.